and I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Now in the beginning, Why she believed that? Chloe was the catalyst for her You're power. You're just bailing on me, like so everybody else. That's true, she doesn't have her power anymore? Why don't you go now? <gasps> You've been wanting to since you got here, right? Yep. So go, and don't come back. All right, later. Let's go. Chloe, I am never Aww. leaving you again. Come on. He's going to leave her. Look at a picture, get the other Chloe back. That's what I was going to say. If I find out somebody, somebody else somewhere still has the original Chloe and not this, I'm going to be pissed. And I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm probably going to do another walkthrough for YouTube. I'm sorry, Will. Cause this is some bullshit. I I love Chloe, but this girl is depressing as fuck. Oh, we gotta do this again? No, she's doing it on her own. She can't focus? Oh, I am doing it, but it's not vibrating this time. Oh, there it is. Cause I wasn't doing it right. There you go. There you go. Got it. Please work. Please give me all my babes Someday back. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Dad is a creeper. What? Hello? Uh, I don't know why I rhymed. Hey, honey. What? No, no, I want to sing Rob Zombie. Meet the creeper. That's my jam, man. Back in Twisted Metal 3 came out. God, I feel old now. Who the fuck said that? <laughs> uh, you can't hide from me forever. All right, let him go. See ya, jackass. No Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Oh, come on. Blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Uh, uh, he's never leaving. Fucked up thing is how many times she's had to relive the thing, but now she knows what would happen either way, and that's kind of cool. That's something we will never have. Cause I wonder that all the time with people. Like, what if my buddy was still here, you know? I'm not being depressing. you're being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. <laughs> Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, <laughs> but... Says it to her while she's on. happy. You have made things different. Like, my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, yeah. whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. I'm just worried that there's no permanent repercussions to this, because if there is, the rest of the choices were completely inconsequential. So I'm hoping this was just part of the story. Just like the one linear part that everybody has to go through. And then your choices come back. Because it's the only thing I'm a little worried about. But I'm still loving this game. Are we back? Are we back? Yep, David. Yep. <laughs> Looks like he's yanking it on, cam on the photo, doesn't he? I'll cut you, bitch! It's my cake! Here we go. Back to it all again. That was that was cool, though. I like the, the contrast of seeing what would have happened. And, and what she didn't become because she didn't have time to think. She didn't, ha she didn't grow. She didn't have all those experiences happen to her. She didn't have the immense loss. She didn't have to face herself. You saw how awkward and horrible she was because she didn't grow up. She didn't have to face anything. That was a really beautiful touch, guys. Seriously, Don't Nod did a fucking awesome job on that. Because I always think about that all the time. Like, if I didn't have this one thing in my life happen to me, that I wouldn't be who I am. Period. I wouldn't be. Because I would have never had to face what I had to face. So awesome that they thought that through. Great, great writing. Little translation errors here and there, but fucking beautifully Chloe, poignant writing. I like it. I love it. I like it. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. Shut up, Smurf victim. I'm just, 
I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. There was purple in your hair? You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we all were right. up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Dun dun, wait, that's law and order. Shit. <laughs> Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I'm sorry, what? I hope you weren't messing I like that around picture. Can I look up? Sleeping. Oh, there we go. Not anymore. <gasps> I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. Max. All right, get up. We got shit to do. We got shit to do. Hey, baby. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What? You didn't even get her to actually, like, okay. That's weird. Huh? What? What, journal? Ambient trophy earned? Why'd you tell me to come here, journal? Fuck you, journal. Alright, now we're back in the shit sty. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. <gasps> the Prescotts, Pan Estates, Heaven or Hell, by Craig Kennedy. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay, a quaint town seemingly stuck in time, once home to a prosperous fishing and tourism industry. The town has been much better to paydays. It has been much better paydays, despite the. It's so hard to read with this damn song. Local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and football and swimming teams like Bigfoots and Otters. Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're, be they're behind an expensive, exclusive housing development known, known as the Pan Estates to be built into the deep forests in the Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filled various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Oh my god, I hate that. Reading while that song is going is so fucking difficult. I don't know the McCoy. words. Huh? The Bad Girl's Guide to Guns by Coffee Greer? Huh? I don't get it. Cool picture. Fuck, fuck. Huh? Yeah, do it. Come on. What? I don't know why she gave her that weird ass look. If she was gonna tell it to do the dishes or something. That was fucking weird. Thought my light was so pink. So close yet so far away. Uh huh. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's log book. <laughs> log. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. <laughs> that sounds Too like bad a porno! I don't have a gun anymore. <laughs> yes, that's the solution. Frank, Nathan, we'll and the Dark do Room. How does that Dude, not sound like a porno ass, name? Then rewind. Fine, what loves It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Alright. To who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it. Oh, yeah, okay. He's still here. Okay. I was gonna say, I thought we kicked him. Think like a man. I can't abuse this level Ooh. of my rewind power. I can do that. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate... Oops. This butterfly photo seems <laughs> like a million years ago. <laughs> I got distracted! How God much time have I altered since? Shit. I'll, uh, or, uh, I'll read that later, I hope. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. I should have broke it! Damn it! Wait, wallet. Let me check that wallet out. Wait, where's the wallet? Yeah, check the wallet out. What? Why does it tell me about it? It's weird. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. All right, whatever. How much time if I? Is there anything else in here? Nope, 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 nope. Don't really care about a magazine. Getting tired of reading. Nope. Actually, I guess she would. Hang on, she would. She'd Welcome be so happy to, to be back. World. Yeah, she'd be happy to be back. Oh. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright then. <laughs> Alright, let's go. 
I'm supposed to go to the garage. This time I pay. See, I pay attention to this, Chloe. What the no. bird? I forgot about that little fucker. Oh, the bird has been uh, trapped in here. Yeah, he's pissed. He's gonna shit everywhere. I hope. I can't let him out. I can't believe David didn't fucking get rid of him. He's just like, eh, fuck it. He's fine. But he went in here. He went in here. Bah! Okay. Probably should have opened the window first. Shit. I don't think I can do it now. Scare him. Go on wow. now. Be free. There you go. I just wanted you to shit on his bed. How's that gonna? I don't care. I don't want it to die in here. I don't care. I don't want it to die in here. If it had babies in here, that's gonna be so fucked up. Better not of. All right, let's go. We'll do what we're supposed to do. I don't know if they would do that. I still can't run. All right. I love this game. It makes you feel like you don't know how to play, but it's just they—they they taking the controls with it. Like, yeah, you can run. <laughs> go ahead, try it. <laughs> huh? Jackass. You huh? won this battle, Max. Yep. You broke up my family. Uh huh. I salute. I did it. Yep. David. It was all me. I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let. Anybody hurt Chloe? Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. I'm so pissed if he knows something the whole time he's been trying to help us. Because he knows something. But it's his own fucking fault for not sharing what he's doing. So let's make sure there's nothing new, real quick. Huh? Fuck you, Warren. Why don't you get the hint? And my folks will shit. Yo, yo, Max. Chloe texting me. God damn it. How did I get all the way up here? Wait, I'm so confused. What the fuck just happened? I don't even care. Fuck this thing. Fuck him. TV. Yeah. Those says, poor whales are like beached angels. What the fuck? It's what not even SD. What here? is this? That's Those like you're watching. Those are like. TV Angels. on a Game Boy. This is terrible. What is going on here? What the fuck? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. <laughs> Fucked up. Ouch. Do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. Ooh. Wait, did she do like uh, angry faces in the eyes? <laughs> I, had to, I had to check. No, she didn't. <laughs> That'd be cool. That's when you know she's serious. What's this? To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Oh, <sighs> eco-apocalypse now. While Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town that time forgot is since the beginning of this week in the literal eye of the environmental storm, starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented eclipse, dying birds, and now a half dozen beached whales. Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists, apparently including NASA. What's even more incredible than these eco-phenomena is the fact that a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc. Continued on next page. Wow. I, I think I meant to say has not offered a single theory. I'm not sure what I said. I was trying to multitask and I failed miserably. What's this? Joyce must be so upset. Look at him. He is definitely yanking it. Helping anybody, Max? That dude is yanking it in that picture. I don't care what anyone says. He is yanking it. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're, you you shouldn't have kids watching this anyways. All right. No. Go to bed, Billy. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Hmm. Maybe there's some new clues around. It's like it was never broke. I just spilled a little bit of oil and told her it was broken. <laughs> I've done that before. Fucking landlord. I'm working on my car. Did you see? It's leaking oil everywhere. I just dumped a little oil. <laughs> it fucking worked. She left me alone. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? See? I knew there's something going on here we gotta know about. Thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, Sean Prescott. Huh. 
definitely a lot going on. Is the gun back? Either Chloe stole another gun, nope. or David is out there armed. See you soon, guys.